punk rockers are society's new subversives and must be treated as such. of middle school and high school wishing I could be in a pop punk band or have a smidge of that talent. Like Good Charlotte, Blink-182. I'm gonna get to spend the next week with State Champs, this killer pop punk band, to celebrate their new album, Living Proof. Thank you guys for letting me spend the week oh, with thank you. you for being here. Oh, We're glad to have you on board. I'm Tyler, I play guitar. I'm Derek and I sing. I'm Evan, I play drums. I'm Tony, I play guitar. And I'm Ryan and I play bass. Today, we're kind of getting set up for our CD release. It's like a huge day for us and we're doing a nice pop-up shop in L.A. It's cool to do this kind of stuff, this special stuff, when it comes down to releasing an album, where you can give back to the fans and hang out, because they're the ones who let us do what we do anyway. Yeah. They're the ones who support us, come to the shows, buy the merch, buy the tickets, tell their friends about us. It's the only reason we can do what we can do anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to do stuff like this and hang out with them all day and give back. What do you guys love about Stage Champs? They're one of the best f***ing punk bands of the century. They're genuine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to see them at Warped next oh, week? Oh, probably, yeah. We're going to make you a punk rocker. I haven't ever. even shown any talent. I think we can Hot. teach you a thing Chick or two. So we have to Okay. <laughs> Climb aboard. Come on up. Wow! It's like house. the movies. <laughs> <laughs> There's a TV. So you guys always stay on the bus, never hotels? Well, sometimes we do if we have like days off and we're in a city for more than one night, but most of the time it's like city, one night, next city, another night. And especially on something like Warp Park that we're about to be doing, the drives are like really far apart. So we have to sleep on the bus while we drive. And then we wake up in the next city and just do it all over again. Are you guys so excited because your album's out? Yeah. I was seeing all the response on Twitter. Yeah, Everybody yeah. loves it. Now we gotta get it all together and start like getting ready to play all the songs live and stuff. That's what yeah. today's for, our rehearsal day. I had the experience of like, okay, my song feels perfect after the studio. Mm -hmm. And then you have to like play it all the way through live. And yeah. it's like, I don't ever want to do this. Yeah, yeah, no, seriously, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to make it translate. You spend so much time in the studio. And then we have to almost kind of relearn it and like do a little, maybe some things a little differently that are gonna make the show a little bit better. When you record a song as you experience, you do it in part. When you play it all the way through, you have to like be able to do every single part as you go. That's been the biggest challenge for me so far. Any experience playing drums at all? Ever? No. Not even tapped around? No. Okay, well these are for you. The worst part about playing drums is when you mess up, the whole band turns around and looks at you like, what's going on? So the whole crowd knows when you mess up, because the whole band turns around like, what the heck are you doing, man? So this is the second song off the new record. Your turn. <laughs> OK. Pretty much the most important thing right now that we're going to be focusing on is the bass drum, which is your feet. Give it a little stop on it. Perfect. This is the snare drum. So you'll be hitting that with your left hand. <laughs> okay. And then the hi-hat. So put your other foot. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, sorry. you're good. Okay. So just stomp right down on that one. Perfect. Exactly. That's pretty much the basics. So we're only going to be focusing on these three right now. You're just going to count to four just and just hit that. So one, two, three, four with your feet. Perfect. And you can just keep on repeating. So once you get to four, go back to one and just okay. count to four again. Now on two and four, you're going to hit this with your left hand. So one, two. No, oh. you're good. Two, three, four. Exactly. Yeah! We got yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we're going to complicate a little bit. Keep your foot down on that so okay. it stays closed. And with your right hand, hit this with the bass drum. So one, two, three, four. Yeah! yeah. 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 All right, now drum solo. Everything. All right. Yeah, so now just go. What? Just hit I, 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 I no, didn't I'm, know I'm standing back. You're you get good. 10 seconds. You hit you have everything. You go as wild as you can. Hit everything. Ready. Go. Everything. Go, okay. Yeah. It's fun. It's a good time. <laughs>
Ryan's gonna teach you bass. Have you ever played? Have you ever tried? I have played a normal guitar, not very normal. successfully. This is definitely not. Okay, a okay, guitar. I didn't mean it no, like I that. No, I wish it was. Oh though. no. Okay, I I played a regular <laughs> guitar. What is the term? Yeah, for yeah, that? Just, a, just like a six Elec string. I don't... Electric. What do you want to learn? I want to learn the bass progression in something about you. In something about just you. Just the beginning part. Okay. <laughs> and then do, yep. Nice. And then. Oh, we go to another string? Yeah, That's you got it. Some, so sometimes you have to use more than one string. <laughs> uh, for me, not it's not often. And then pull off. Yeah, there it is. That's okay. the first half. That was a riff I wrote a long time ago. And it was, I wrote it on the guitar. And I was just like, oh, this is cool. And then just kind of sat for a while. And then we, we used it when we were kind of like, hey, does anybody have any riffs? And I was like, I've got a riff that I've been sitting on for a minute. Here, you want to try it with a pick? Is that like the training wheels version? I use a pick. All right, cool. Yeah, so I think when you play like energetic <laughs> okay. punk music, most people do use picks. <laughs> and it's easier. You're killing the game, honestly. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna give this back to you. Perfect. <laughs> this is the part I've been dreading because I feel like I sound like, what's the polite way to say a pussy <laughs> when I sing their songs because they sound so badass. But I'm looking forward to learning how to sound more hardcore. So we're gonna sing Criminal together and you already, you already know the words, yeah? Well, I wanna hear you sing it first. You wanna hear me sing it first? And then we sing it together. Yell scream. Well, that comes from thing. somewhere in here. You have to like really puff out your chest and, and <laughs> accelerate. Whether because when I'm just singing like this, it's very clear and whatnot. But then yeah. sometimes I just like to have a little bit of aggression to it, where it's it's criminal. Yes. That's between ah and ah. But you can at least go. It's criminal. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we'll do that together. And it's criminal. <laughs> oh, this is really scary. <laughs> Stop smiling. <laughs> this is awesome. Ready? No. So what's it mean when every dream I have is about you now? I can't believe
excited. I had so much fun making it. Before we go, I wanted to give a huge shout out to everybody who's been contributing so kindly to the Kickstarter for my short film. In just one week, we have hit 50% of our goal on Kickstarter, and it's so exciting, and I'm so thankful to you all. Especially David Linton, Angelo Gonzalez, Jack Ingress, William Lidget, Brianna Gladowski, Michael Lair, and Lex Trust. Thank you guys so much for your contribution. If you want to get a shout out in one of my upcoming videos, be sure to check out the link below. Hope to see you next time. Bye!